Welcome, welcome to Jermaine on Natural. I am Jermaine Ryan, and it's okay, I wasn't eaten. But if you have not caught the gist of what this video is about, it's about sharks. So I am, what, about a month or so out. This video was supposed to have been done and been recorded, but we were doing stuff on the house, I just didn't do it. So I'm doing it now, and it's never too late. So, Shark Week. Shark Week is a thing that happens and one of the brands that I personally love is Lush Cosmetics. And every year for Shark Week, at least for since 2014, they have been coming out with the Shark Fin Soap yearly during Shark Week to bring awareness to sharks, them being exploited, them being hunted, and you know them and the effect that it would have on our ecosystem. So. You know, I'm one that's, like I said, I am a bit of a tree hugger. So I was at Lush, saw the soap, and had to buy it. And of course, when they do have the limited edition soap available, 100% of the proceeds go to the Rob Stewart Foundation. Rob Stewart was a filmmaker, photographer, and a conservationist who was bringing awareness about sharks and how they affect our ecosystem and the way that they're being hunted and just how that how if sharks were to go to extinct how this would completely affect not only the oceanic uh, ecosystem but also ours here as people walking on the land and um, he has now since passed back in 2017 he is known for a few films that he has made and directed one of them being Shark Water and Revolution. And before he passed back in 2017, he was working on his follow up uh, to Shark Water, which was Shark Water Extinction. So while he was filming Shark Water Extinction in 2017, that was when his untimely death happened. And because he died, the movie at the time wasn't finished, but along with his family and other many people that supported his cause and believed in him, other film directors or writers did come together and the film did finish. And between all three of his films, The Initial Shockwater, Revolution, and Sharkwater Extinction, he has received a ton of awards, tons of accolades. Um, at one point in time, the movie was one of the highest grossing films in Canada. So he's very well accomplished and it's just something that we all need to be aware of is the hunting and the possible extinction of sharks and how it would affect us. You know, everything just needs to be made aware of because humans aren't the end all to be all. You know, we don't make it all happen and we can't make it all happen. Everything that's on earth is important to some extent and can be and is a part of a chain that does affect another link and if one part of that chain is broken then the rest of it is going to completely break down so sharks are important and i'll have all of the information about the foundation linked down below in the description box all right so let's go and get in the shower and we're gonna see how this works mm. So I'm going to need you to never mind my plastic bag because I'm doing a hot oil treatment right now before I get ready to wash my hair with some new stuff, which a video will be coming soon on that. Um, but we are talking about the shark fin soap. As you have noticed, compared to the intro video and to the piece currently, I have been actively using this to see exactly how it worked on skin. Now you may say, Jermaine, soap is soap and who cares about soap and blah, blah, blah. Well, well, soap is not just soap because it's labeled as soap doesn't mean it's soap, which is why ingredients are important. Oh, this is the little fin too. I broke it off, but the fin goes all the way through to both sides and I can't pull it out. A lot of ingredients in your everyday, find it at any store, 
Commercials all over the place have been around since the beginning of commercial time. Those bigger box brands don't use soap in their soap. It's detergent. So if you think it doesn't make a difference, then what I would like for you to do is find the things that you use to wash your clothes and take a bath or shower with it if it doesn't matter because that's what they use. A lot of them use detergent. And when you look up the actual ingredient, it says it's a detergent. So are you really using soap? You know, when's the last time you said, hey, I'm gonna try some oil in my shower. Oh, hey, let me put some Tide in my, my puff. You know, let me scrub my back with some gain. All I'm saying is that the, the ingredients do make a difference. And a lot of times some of these ingredients that are in the products some of them have been known and have been shown in studies to... So I'm going to continue with the voiceover as I discovered while ed editing an entire chunk of video did not record. But some of the ingredients in the products are known to have parabens in it. And parabens have been linked or have been known to be in breast cancer and have been found in breast tumors. Also, some in products are known to have formaldehyde in it, which we all know is a preservative used to keep dead bodies from deteriorating. Some have aluminum in them, like some deodorants, any pers any deodorants, which we know is linked to cancer. There are others that have phthalates, which can increase the risk of miscarriages. It has also been linked to uh, ADHD in children. It also has been linked to found to be found in reproductive genital defects. Another ingredient is petroleum. And when you say petroleum, you think petroleum jelly, and then you think Vaseline. Vaseline, the brand, does a triple purification on their petroleum jelly. So it is safe and free of all carcinogens. Other products that just use petroleum may not go through that process. So there's always a risk if you don't know exactly how a particular company or brand purifies their petroleum. But if you are ever unsure, you can always pull out your phone, go to your local Google search, type in the name of the ingredient and behind it type natural or derived or safe. And that will let you know right there if that is a product that you should buy with that ingredient in it. If you wanted to go to the store and get the everyday version of the shark fin, it is the sea vegetable bar soap. And this, like many of their other soaps, come in the big chunks. Think of it like large cheese wheels and you tell them how much you want to spend. They cut that piece off for you. And from there, you have your soap. I have been using this twice a day and it has lasted me. I want to say we're going into two weeks now, maybe almost three weeks. So it doesn't melt fast, which is a good thing. Um, like I said, the original piece was, it's a small piece compared to what I would normally get. So I'm thinking that this soap, if you were to get like a, a, a 15 to $20 chunk, will last you about a month or a little bit more actually, depending on how often you use it. Like I said, twice a day, normally, easily for me, sometimes three. So if you don't bathe as often as that, or if you bathe only once a day, um, you know, however you bathe, you probably can get about a month and a half to two months out of a 15 to $20 chunk. So as you can see, you know, it lathers pretty well. And like I said, it has a very woodsy scent. I get cinnamon from it. There's also coconut oil, there's lavender, and there is also lime oil in it. So, I don't know, to me maybe it's the, and then it has the seaweed um, absolute in it, which is actual seaweed. So I don't know, to me that combination kind of gives me, like I said, cinnamon, thinking of like a fireball whiskey, um, gold schlager, schnapps, type of feel, but yet there is an undertone of the, like I said, it's very warm. So that probably is the lavender. I like it nonetheless. I like it. And now uh, let me test it out and show you how it works on my puff. All right, here's my puff. <laughs> my pink, my pink power puff. Um, let's see how it works. So soap is wet and I go around twice that way, tend to flip it over. Go around a couple of times that way, like three or four times that way. Maybe a couple of slides if I feel like it's dry. And 
Bam. Look at that. Suds. Look at that. But yeah, as you can see, I got a very good lather off of the after, you know, a few swipes on the bottom, flipping it, a few swipes on the top. I'm going to get my whole body out of this. And as you can see, as I'm just moving it around, it's suds galore. The suds, the suds, the suds. This soap is not a soap that I use normally, the shark fin or the sea vegetable. But like I said, I bought it strictly and 100% because of um, their bringing awareness to sharks and them being hunted and possibly going extinct and how it can affect our ecosystem. So I will be featuring some of the soaps that I do use on a regular basis that are all natural. So everything will be linked below as far as foundation that you can donate to that goes toward the preservation and reservation of sharks and i will see you all in the next one. Oh, and please like comment and subscribe tell me if you've tried the shark fin soap or the sea vegetable soap and how it worked out for you all right oh, i was about to be a mess <laughs> uh, all right i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>